Hey everyone, it's me again, Elisa. Uh, I said last week that every week I'd like to hop in with a little bit of encouragement or like a tip for community building. And this week I'd like to talk about agendas and creating your agendas. And I didn't just pull that out of nowhere. There was a few of you that actually were asking about like, well, what should we do? And like, how do we organize this? And it's such a good question. It's, um, it's not straightforward. So I'm, I'd like to say that for those of you who are just creating your first meetups, let your first meetup be about getting to know your first people because they're going to be so important to your, your chapter's health and growth. Um, and just listen. So if you if you must, and I think it's a good idea to like for your for your creating your first meetup to have an agenda, you can ha say 15 minutes for intros, X amount, like the bulk amount of your time for um, an info gathering or for just making decisions about what it is you want to do as a chapter and then a wrap up time. So that's a three part pretty solid template for what you can imagine a first meetup to be. And then as your second meetup, gets underway, you'll have a bit more of an idea of what your group of people actually want to do. So you can be more descriptive in your uh, on, on your page for your chapter and on your meetup page. Um, a really good example, he's not going to love that I'm calling this out, I don't care, is to look at the Denver meetup that Michael Bragg is hosting. Michael Bragg is a master online community builder. Um, I've been working with him actually for two years in the Code Academy community, and he is the guy to look to for how to engage a group of people around code. Uh, so for a good example of what a solid agenda and meetup page looks like, just check out Michael Bragg's for, for the Denver group. And then once you've got a groove going for your meetup, you should, uh, well, not should, <laughs> I don't like that word. You will probably at that point know like what a solid agenda is. And also don't be afraid to iterate. Um, it won't always be the same. The template probably will. Um, striking the balance between rituals so that your members know what it is that they generally get when they show up and iterating so that we are not sticking to something that doesn't feel right for your chapters. Most of this is going to sound like common sense because it is. Um, I think sometimes it's also just nice to hear that you're on the right track and that you knew how to do this all along. Um, the last thing about setting an agenda that I wish I would have known when I was starting to uh, host meetups is as a leader, bake in time for the after meetup chats. So if yours is like 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on a Thursday, just like set aside 8.30 to 8.45 or 8.30 to 9. There will inevitably be somebody who had an experience at your meetup and wants to talk to you about it or has an idea um, or like wants to engage a little bit more. It's fine if you can't talk to them at that at that time of course it's absolutely amazing if you're if you're already baked in that time and you're just relaxed and you're like yeah let's keep talking um everybody enjoys it so i hope this was helpful gonna keep doing this um love talking about this stuff always and anytime i can't wait to see more of your chapters and i hope you all have a great week thank you